ABI Inform is a database that includes a variety of resources focusing on business and technology topics. To find any specific database, come to the A to Z database list on Bracket Library homepage. In this instance, we got lucky because ABI Inform is at the top of the list, but you can also sort it by subject and find other business databases through the subject sorter. If you are looking for information about minimum wage or any other topic, start by entering your main idea in the search box. On the left, we see that our resources are coming from journals, books, audio and video files, dissertations, newspapers, just a wide variety of resources. Always check your assignment or your syllabus to see what type of resource you're required to use for your project. Many times you'll be required to use scholarly journals. I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend my time looking through 53,000 results, so I'm going to use the limiters provided by the database to narrow down my list of results. The date limiter is always important to use. If you want to talk about a current topic, you need to have current information unless you're providing a historical overview. You can use the slider and narrow it by decades, or you can enter a specific date range. Usually, the last five years is plenty of time, and anything older than that may be a little bit too old. We still have 14,000 results, which tells us that minimum wage has gotten a lot of conversation in the last five years. The subject limiter will help you find different aspects of this topic. How does minimum wage impact economic growth? That's a great question that a lot of people ask. So we'll select economic growth, and now we have a much smaller list of results that look at the combination of minimum wage and economic growth. We can still limit it more if we'd like to. Let's look at some of these other options. The location. The United States is not the only country having conversations about what minimum wage or living wage is, so let's narrow it so that our information focuses on the United States. And now we have an even smaller list of results. Once you've focused it and gotten a tight list that really deals with your topic and has the right kind of information and the date range that you're interested in, then start looking at the titles in your list, the impacts of taxes and regulations on firm births and deaths in state border counties. One thing about academic journal articles is the titles usually tell you exactly what the article is about. To the lighthouse towards a global minimum wage, building on the international poverty line. Let's look at this one. Selecting the title will give us even more information about this document. You can read the abstract. Here's the full text. You may see a tab that includes a PDF. I always like to have a PDF because that shows me all the charts and pictures and graphs. Scholarly journal articles do tend to be a little bit long, so keep that in mind and give yourself plenty of time to read it. You can download this. You can print it. There are citation helps in ABI Inform, so check to see what citation style you're required to use. This is APA 6th. And as of today, they have still not updated to APA 7th, but check to see if that hits sometime this year. If you're in an English class writing about a business topic, you will probably want to use MLA as your citation style. You can copy and paste this into your Word document. You can also email this to yourself. And ABI Inform does a good job of giving you related articles over on the right hand side. Let's go back to our results. You can select multiple articles and email them to yourself. You'll also have the option to choose a citation style here. And you, if you're working on a group project, you can email this to multiple people. If you have any questions or need help with your project, be sure to contact a librarian through the chat box on the library website or by setting up a virtual research consultation with your personal librarian. For more information about your personal librarian, visit our website to see who your librarian is and you can use this icon to book an appointment. Good luck with your project!